I say the word Goa, what comes to your mind? Uh, I think it's beaches. <laughs> Are you aware that apart from the beach, a few kilometers inside there is a lot of mining going on? Not, I wasn't aware of that at all. Okay. Mining? No. Mining? Yeah. Not in the, not in the slightest. <laughs> Are you aware of mining in Goa? I'm an ignorant boy. I have no idea about mining. The only reason I come here for is the good food, the better company and, well, the decent movies. Basically, there are two sectors of Goa's economy. One is tourism, which gets wide publicity to events like the IFI, and the other is the less known, at least to the outside Goan, uh, which is mining, an extremely exploitative sector that is creating havoc among Goan communities and is essentially unsustainable. And events like the IFI give you only one side of, of Goa and completely ignore the other side. What is characteristic of IFI is if you go to see, none of the films even give a portrayal of these real ground, harsh realities of, of Goa's economy, uh, I mean, of Goa's mining sector. And this is a real shame. But do you think a festival like this, like the IFI, is a good media to promote an issue like mining because there's a lot of struggle for livelihood. Yes, so I think it would be great, you know, especially if there's uh, if there are problems in the mining industry, like uh, working conditions for the workers. Uh, this would be a great way to uh, publicize it. Exploitative mining in Goa is essentially carried out through the capture of the media and the entire state machinery, which essentially means that it is the subjugation of democracy that helps mining.